Ladies and gentlemen, I'm no God Swinwind. Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls Remastered. In the last episode, we started making our way through Sen's Fortress. Otherwise known as Sen's Funhouse. And, well, I died more times than was necessary trying to fight Titan Eye Demons that I am apparently too weak to kill in a very quick manner. Which is annoying, but I can always come back here and kill them later. For now, though, I still got treasure to grab, so let's get that first. We're gonna take care of this crossbow asshole first, though, in order to make sure I don't get shot in the back while trying to platform. Would also hope if I did not try to run into the hole. Do, 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 do. Yes, keep trying to shoot me, knight. It's not gonna work. Okay. Walk off this. Let's try not to fall into the hole first. To our doom. Because we can walk on this. Now I just need to remember... Where I can drop on... Ah, oh, here we are. Drop on this. Which will allow us to... Oh, boy. Am I not in the right spot? No, I have to be. No, wait, I am in the right spot. This bitch is just here. Wait, I'm at the wrong area for this. I'm thinking of a different area. You can tell it's been a while since I've actually tried to grab this treasure that I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Well, let's get my souls back at the very least. Or what's left of them. God damn it, I know there's a place to drop down to grab a ring. There it is. Oh, wonderful. I'm forgetting where treasure is. That's a good sign. But then again, I rarely ever grab this one, so... Why should I even bother? My blood stain's gonna be on the rafters, isn't it? Yep. There's the item I'm thinking of, but I don't remember how to get to it. Or is that a different item I'm thinking of? Because there ain't no way in hell I'm surviving that drop. Risking it. Instead, I'll grab the other items. And don't worry about getting the that 
specific ring of that I'm thinking of later then. Oh. I forgot the pressure plates are a thing. Can I even survive that draw from here? Fuck it. Nope. Oh well, I tried. Okay, enough fucking and diddling around then. We're gonna head back to the bonfire, reverse hollow, kill the boss. And then I'm going to start uh, heading back to Andre. Okay. That means I can unequip this thing. <laughs> okay. Let's head back up again. Man, if there's one thing I cannot stand is that I have to run all the way around in a circle constantly in this top section. It pisses me off to no end. Just give me a ladder, please. But no, convenient paths to the boss? No, 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 you have to work for it constantly. Uh, or at least I'm not... inept at getting back up here. Although it'd be pretty sad and pathetic if you kept dying on the way up here when the giant is dead th that throws firebombs at you. Anyway, we're gonna head to this tower. And here we will summon... Iron Tarkus. Black Iron Tarkus. And it's time for us to do the age-old tradition of Sense Fortress. What's and it's time and it's called Can Iron Tarkus solo the boss? Let's find out. Cause most of the time, like 70%, he has no trouble. But uh Tarkus has a bad reputation of being stupid. In terms of intelligence. This is the Iron Golem. He swings arrow blades with his axe. Now, funnily enough, you can actually make him fall off this bridge. You just need to hit him enough that he kneels and falls over while here. And Tarkus gets grabbed. Slam. Ooh, Tarkus, don't fall off the edge now. See, when he when the Iron Golem takes that stance, that means he's about to fall. And if you do this on the bridge, he'll fall off and kill himself. But hey, Tarkus actually won this time. And we get a humanity for it. 
Good job, Tarkus. Easiest boss in the game. <laughs> you literally don't have to do anything, just have the NPC do it. We're not going to activate that glowing circle. We're not going to touch it, we're not even going to go near it. We're going to ignore that for now, because that leads on to... A rather... Infamous part of the game. That everyone knows, even if they've never played Dark Souls before. That leads to An Orlando, the city of the gods, our destination. But I am going the wrong way, because I need to access the elevator, actually. And I'm an idiot. Once again. I now have to run all the way back up. Oh, God, I just do not have a habit of staying still in this game. I just go, 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 go constantly, I don't think. Well, actually... Do, 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 do. Let's make this go by faster. And I swapped the wrong items. Power within. Much better damage. Rather than leveling up, we're going to use... <coughs> we're going to use these souls to upgrade our weapons. Because I can farm large shards now. Now that I have the gold coated serpent ring. It's going to be a lot faster to do so. And I actually like that uh, and I actually do like the remaster spell effect for power within. It actually looks like fire this time rather than just having a red mist. Take a swig. With him dead, we can drop down here. And make sure that's facing the correct direction. It is. Now I just need to remember which corridor was it. Ah, that one. Hey, buddy. Oh, I missed the plunge. Need to be further up for that. Take care of that bitch. Bard soul of a proud knight. And here we have a cell that leads to death, I believe. No. Wait. No, it doesn't. Okay. I really should be heading to Andre, though. Because having these amount of souls means I'm just going to die by a stupidity. Okay, no illusory wall. And here we have the black sorcerer set and the sorcery hush. Sorcery developed by a certain super... Surreptitious. I can't say the word. Sorcerer at Vinheim Dragon School makes mask all noises of caster. Effectively, Vinheim is controlled by the Dragon School, and it's no wonder that the town has its share of dark secrets. Considering that the Black Sorcerer is set, basically confirms that, uh. Cloak worn by the secret sorcerers at Vinheim Dragon School. They secretly work with sound based spells and never reveal themselves. Spies, basically. Sorcerers that wear the black sorcerer set are basically spies and assassins at Vinheim. And now, we're back here. Okay, so, going back this way. We drop down here. And here is where I was thinking of. 
This is the spot I was thinking of. And here's the item that I saw. The Slobbering Dragon Crest Ring. And I believe that's everything, because dropping down here leads to the tar pits. So. Let's activate La Homeward and get the fuck out of here. Okay, the slumbering dragon crest ring. Do, 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 do. Where produces no sound whatsoever. This ring was secretly worn by a certain surreptitious sorcerer of Ventheim Dragon School. The ring is engraved with an everlasting dragon in silent slumber. Mask all sound emitting from the wearer. Yes, there is actually a stealth system in this game, but it's kind of primitive. Same way it was in Demon Souls, actually. Although, really it's just meant for messing around with enemies and being a dick in PvP, but I don't do online, so it's not useful to me at all. And now we can use this. He got hit by the pendulum. Do, 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 do. That takes care of them. Later, bitches. Why do they get to block that? I don't know. But we're running to safety. That's all that matters. And I ran by Andre because I'm an idiot. Yes. Uh. Modify, there we go. Okay, so I can upgrade both the black bow, and that's it. Wait, it's nine shards. We're actually gonna reinforce this broken straight sword. Why, you may ask? For very good reason. And unfortunately, I have to ascend it to plus fucking ten. Twelve large shards was what I needed, right? No, it was nine again. Oops. Sorry, Andre, I forgot that I also wanted to uh, ascend my bow. That the plus six. There we go. Don't get your Neither of us wants to see you go hollow. And we got 40 grand on the dot. Sweet. Which means I can use up my consumables to even it out. Say two soul large souls of proud knights equals 6,000. Brave warrior equals 5,000. Three 
three more levels into endurance. Most of my entire level up is going to be endurance. Let's see how are we looking on? Uh, not yet. Once I'm able to fast roll around with just the chest piece and some other stuff. Ah, I'll worry about that later. Okay, now that that's over and done with, we actually need to head down to the garden. And because I did not buy the Crest of Artorias, I cannot go through the door. Great. I gotta go the long way around. Fantastic. Because you remember that uh, fog wall that was beyond the Forest Hunters? That's another boss. Oh, I forgot you guys were here. Sorry about that. And unfortunately for me, because I did not get the goddamn fucking crest. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know how I can solve this problem immediately. Since I'm not going to be using these boss souls for anything, Andre, I'm coming back. You have a key I need to buy. Do, 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 do. We'll use the soul of Quaylag. We'll use the soul of the Iron Golem. Will that be enough? It is well, enough. Just barely. You're lucky I need that. Go get yourself night. This crest opens a door in Darkroot Garden sealed by ancient magic. The door leads to the grave of Sir Artorius the Abyss Walker. Many adventurers have left for the grave, but none have returned, for they mark easy prey for local bandits. With such dangers, the crest could do more harm than good in the hands of the uninitiated. I, I don't remember if there's a way to get that for free. I want to say that there is a way to get that for free, but I think I am just being crazy. Blood Red Moss Clump. Eh, not bad damage. Come on. Uh, it would help if uh, my sword. Sword? Sword? Killed it in one shot. Oh well. Actually, now I think about it, I don't think I killed the second knight, did I? I don't think I did. In which case, we're gonna rest here at this bonfire. I can't expect help for this boss coming up because we're gonna be doing it solo. We used the Crest of Victorious on this door. And it opens! Now, did I kill the second knight? I know I killed most of the important NPCs. No, I did not. Let's see if you actually fall for the old trick. Oh, damn it, I fell for the trick. Oh, well, that was embarrassing. See, the trick is to basically get to this ledge, guard up, and they just fall to their deaths because their AI is stupid. I'm not sure if that still works. 
That's what I get for trying. Okay, Mr. Knight, come here. Oh. Or you could just roll off like an idiot for me. Thanks. Later. Let's see. The two knights and the black bow user res don't respawn when you kill them. The others do, though. And we're hauling ass straight to the fog wall. Because fuck you guys. I need to kill this boss for progression anyway, so I might as well do it now. Later, dicks. And should I use a humanity to heal up or an Estus flask? Ah, fuck it, humanity. I really need to get heal from Petrus. Okay, the black bow is not gonna be useful, so we'll take that off. Uh, elite knight, elite knight, elite knight. Not enough. about now yes okay so I can wear my helmet Wait, what if I just want to wear the legs and I swap this to the mask nope so I still got pants and boots and gloves can't forget the gloves Open sesame! I mean, it's not technically a fog wall yet, but it's a door. And here we have the grave site of the Knight Artorius. And with a big ass sword in the ground. Lots of graves, lots of death. But actually, if we walk behind the grave, we can actually pick up this ring the Hornet Ring. Who's critical attacks? One well, of the special rings granted to the four knights of Gwyn, the Hornet Ring, belonged to Lord's Blade Kirin. By boosting critical attacks, the wearer can ally foes as Kirin's dagger laid waste to Lord Gwyn's enemies. And this makes parrying the final boss and a, jo a joke. Nah, really. You could one shot the final boss with the Hornet Ring. As long as you got the right setup, of course, but it's possible. And now we have two of the four Knights of Gwyn's special rings. Each of them has their ring. The other two, we're going to get in and Orlando. So, let's now activate the boss. Question is, do I activate power within first? Yeah, let's activate it first. That's probably a bad idea. Giant wolf. Oh, puppy can wield a sword. All right, let's kick the wolf's ass. Oh, good, that damage. Stiff is actually real easy to fight. It's just the power within makes it a hell of a lot more consistent with this weak of a weapon by now. I mean, at this point, this sword is, out, uh, is outliving its usefulness in terms of damage.
And fortunately, when Sif goes to low health, it starts to limp and starts having less powerful swings. So let's put the wolf out of its misery. Bye, Sif. We get the Covenant of Artorius, the soul of Sif, a humanity, and a homeward bone. As well as 40,000 souls. Swig. Well, that was easy. Power within is broken. <laughs> Otherwise, that would take me a hell of a lot longer. Well, shit. And we're only half an hour into the video. I thought this would take longer. Well, more level ups for me. More endurance. Okay, can I wear my pants now? If I were to equip the mask? Yes! We're slowly but surely being able to... being able to fully wear this full set. Of course, when we take off the Havel ring for something else, that's a different story. Okay. Let me uh, check off my list. Let me see here what I need. Okay. We killed the Iron Golem using Tarkus. He actually killed the boss for us, which is fantastic. We killed Sif. Thinking, thinking here. Okay. So, our next obvious location is an Orlando for progression. Let's see, is there anything else we could do before that? We could try fighting the uh, boss of New Londo Ruins, the Four Kings, but uh, we're nowhere near strong enough for that because that's a DPS check. So that's not going to happen. Not with this weapon, at the very least. Um, I could explore underneath the cemetery. Because there's a pathway off to the left that we, that we never went down. I could do that. Or I could stop being a little bitch and go get my weapon. Okay, I'll stop being a bitch and go get my weapon. It's time to head to Anna Rolando. Am I going to be able to get my weapon within half an hour? Probably not, but doesn't mean I can't try. Well, thanks for the moss I'm never going to use. Well, Straight Sword, you have served me well, but it's time for you to be retired. I'm going to replace you with a much more effective weapon. Of course, if I really wanted to, I could just use the freaking Black Knight Greatsword and not and call it a day, but... Doing so would mean I would have wasted a shit ton of levels for no reason. And that's no good. Actually, I am curious. Is there a way for me to get the Crest of Artorias for free? Or am I going crazy? Well, I know what you need. You see anything new? This is the old church. It was abandoned in favor of the church that you passed through. There are paths leading from here to two forbidden plains, Sen's Fortress and the Dark Root Garden. They attract all sorts of lunatics. No one has cultured as yourself. It's fine to be undead, but keep a level head, hey? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Sand's fortress.
fortress is an old proving ground built by the ancient gods. It is the only route leading to the great Anor Londo. Of course, most fools can't even find their way into that fortified death trap. But they won't stop trying. Take that bumbling Sir Onion. <laughs> we actually met Sir Onion. He's doing fine. I know little of the Darkroot Garden. Although I've heard rumors of a divine blacksmith who resides there. Those who get stumped in the catacombs seek him for divine weapons. And that's a hint. I know little of the Fortunately, we gave him the divine ember. Don't be seeing you, be. But we don't need to use the divine ember because we already have a divine weapon. And since he mentioned the catacombs, we're gonna need a divine weapon for that place. Wonderful. Uh, nah, we're good on we're good on Estus. Yep, I thought so. The only way to get the Crest of Artorias for free is to kill Andre. And uh, there's no way in hell I'm killing my blacksmiths. I've already did that enough by accident before by setting my controller down on an uneven surface. So there's no way in fuck I'm gonna let that happen again. See, that's what's supposed to happen. Serpents die via the booby trap, but for some reason their shields can block behind them. Why? I don't know, and quite frankly, I don't give a damn. It just pisses me off. Proving ground, huh? Built by the gods? Well, you got. Well, the gods have a sick sense of humor. This is a proving ground. Can you survive death pits? Tars? Tar pits? Swinging pendulums? Giant serpent men that cannot swing a sword to save their lives? And of course the bitches that sling lightning bolts. Although for some reason, and I'm always fucking paranoid of this fucking elevator because there's not, it doesn't look like there's enough space between the walkway and the elevator to actually land in this safely. I was gonna say, if that knife started running across the walkway, I'm, I would have been freaked out. Alright, let's do this. Time to head to Anorlando. Say hi to the gargoyle bat demons. I don't know their official name. But they mainly serve us to take us over the wall into the beautiful city of Anorlando. The city of the gods. What a wonderful vista. And I see someone's into the gothic architecture. I respect it. Although, I... <laughs> hmm. Well, welcome to Anorlando. Population, enemies, galore. Hey, <sighs> boy. This place is either gonna suck, or it's gonna be a breeze. Say hi to the main enemy of the first part. Giants. Building halberds. And they have a shield slam. Get out of here. They do drop 1500 souls. And there's two of you. And there's a chest. 
Fortunately, I know how to solve this dilemma. Just run across and go over here. Here we have a bonfire and someone in badass armor. I actually like the bra this uh, fuck it. The bronze set which she which this person is wearing. The only thing I don't like about it is the headdress at the back. But whatever. Well, you are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anorlondo, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. Hmm, what is it? What am I? Well, I am the keeper of the bonfire. If not for me, what beacon would there be in this lost city? A gatekeeper and a guide. That is my calling. The bonfires attended by the keepers are special. They are linked to one another, and their flames never die. Yet never shall the keepers of these flames meet. Probably a good reason for that. If you require rest, now is the time. That is, after all, what the bonfire is for. If you require rest, that... It's also made of the bones of the undead, but who's counting that? You think I'm kidding? There's literally a skeleton engorged in flame. With a spiral sword. Whatever. My bow, because we're going to need it for this hellhole. And Orlando sucks for those that are not prepared. Especially a certain segment involving, shall we say, a bunch of archers. This will be fun. Of course, at this point, I think anyone is blowing the difficulty of Dark Souls way out of proportion. As long as I don't aggro the second one, I'm good. Okay, I can't fast roll as long as I have my bow with me. But as long as you get in the giant circumcision position, these idiots are easily dispatched. That, and the obvious gap behind the shield. Oh, I'm actually doing decent damage. I was even able to stagger him. That's surprising. What a nice statue. Of a lion knight. And here we have another thing of Demon Titanite. Thank you. I'm gonna need that. Okay, and up there is a place that is going to be for endgame, basically. Because we are almost past the halfway point. Or the 60%. I'm not actually sure. Actually, I think Sen's Fortress is 50%. Because, let's see. After An Orlando, there's only... One... Two... Uh... Three. Three... Four. four. Yeah, there's only four endgame areas after Anne Orlando. And two of them require exploration through two other areas. <laughs> anyway, let's lure another one of these dipshits over here. Yes, charge to me, soldier. I don't need my bow now. 
get stabbed right in the dick. Do be careful. You get caught by the shield slam, you're gonna take a lot of damage. I'll take care of you. Now for this bastard. Hey, yo, bitch. Ow. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to click the button, but I didn't click the button. Can you step away from the treasure chest, please? I don't want to activate the mimic. I swear I rolled, but apparently I did not. The game disagreed with me. Oh, don't be a dick. And these ain't even the annoying ones either. These are just the normal version. Here's the Mimic, and here's a neat little trick. If you don't want to fight the Mimic, you can just do this. Get yourself some Lloyd Talismans, and just toss them at it. Opens up the Mimic, and you can collect the item, the Crystal Halberd. And he sleeps. And some Twinkling Titanite that I don't need. Of course, let's fight the Mimic anyway. Cut down the size. And if we take that path past this Iron Giant, we will get to the area I was talking about, but we physically can't enter it because there's a barrier in the way. We need a specific item to get past the barrier, so I'm not even going to bother running up there. Instead, um, I'm going to rest at the bonfire and call it a day. Why? Because I can, that's why. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGod21, this has been Let's Play Dark Souls Remastered. Next episode, we begin our full exploration of Anne Orlando. But until then, thank you for watching, have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all next time.